Hi, I'm Ron Miller. I'm a medical malpractice lawyer at Miller & Zoys. Today we'll talk about the most common malpractice cases our lawyers see and the type of doctors that get sued the most. I'm also going to talk about who pays out the most in malpractice claims and how much these claims are generally worth. When it comes to getting sued for medical malpractice, not all doctors have the same experience. Certain types of doctors get sued for medical malpractice much more frequently than others. For instance, OBGYNs who deliver babies get sued for malpractice very frequently. While the pediatricians who take over the care after birth are rarely defendants in a birth injury or medical malpractice claim. Let's start by looking at the doctors that get sued the most. The key statistic here that we turn to is which medical specialties have the highest number of paid malpractice claims. This statistic is a little bit misleading, right? Because certain specialties are much larger than others. For instance, there are over 200,000 doctors in primary care practice compared to 3,600 or so neurosurgeons. So it's obviously primary care is gonna generate a higher number of malpractice claims. OBGYNs, as I alluded to a moment ago, are at the very top of the list for doctors with the most paid malpractice claims. There's no surprise, right? Hundreds of babies are born by OBGYNs across the country every day, and it creates lots of chances for doctors to make mistakes. And when mistakes are made in the delivery room, they tend to have serious and permanent consequences, and those kind of injuries are more likely to generate a malpractice claim. General surgeons are second, a distant second in this category, followed by primary care, orthopedics, and radiology. All of these, as you can imagine, are very large, high volume medical specialties. Next, let's look at the, what types of doctors have the highest number of paid malpractice claims. This gives a more accurate picture of the level of risk that particular doctors face. It demonstrates that there are a few specialties that are extremely high risk specialties, thoracic surgery, for example, but they don't generate a high volume of claims because the size of the field. Neurosurgeons and plastic surgeons rank one and two in this category. Thoracic surgeons come in third place, followed by OBGYNs and orthopedic doctors. Finally, let's look at the median amount of paid malpractice claims by specialty. This gives us an idea of which doctors are facing the most expensive malpractice claims. This generally reflects the severity of injuries and the consequences resulting from malpractice within the various specialties. Neurosurgery tops the list with OBGYNs in a very close second. General surgery is third. At the bottom of that list, you'll find plastic surgery and dermatology with the lowest average value paid on claims. I hope you found this video helpful in understanding which doctors are most commonly sued in malpractice cases. My law firm handles medical malpractice claims against all different types of doctors. If you've been the victim of medical malpractice, the lawyers at Miller & Zoys can help you get the compensation you are entitled to. Call us today at 800-553-8082. Thank you.